Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, a few weeks back, I made some content on the Casio GAB2100. Now, the Casio GA2100, or a lot of people refer to it as the Casio, is quite easily, 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 uh, one of the most popular watches that Casio and G-Shock have made in probably the last decade. Um, these have been very difficult to find online and yeah, the, the, the resale value for them has been just been crazy. Now over the last few years they've got a little more, ready, more readily available and Casio just dropped the GAB 2100 which has the new Tough Solar in there and you know a couple of other things. Now I still think that this is a very handsome watch. Uh, it's on the small side if you prefer a smaller watch that's, uh, that's good. I've got used to the size now, um, but one of the things or one of the bits of feedback or one of the things that I would possibly change on it, the strap on this, I mean the strap game is incredibly weak. The easiest way to get around that is to change the strap. So what I thought I'd do is I'd go through how to change a strap on this. Now it's not difficult, I'm sure you're probably thinking God, anyone can change a strap. Um, with Casio's especially these G-Shocks, there's, there's a way that you have to change them, you need a certain lug in order for it to work. So I just thought I'd get some off the internet, there's some specific ones that I went for because they're, they're ones that I've been looking at or from a company that I, I'd, I'd certainly bought products from in the past and I thought I'd just make a quick piece of content on how to change the strap on here to turn it into a much nicer watch. So. What I'll use, as I usually do, I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look whilst I'm doing that. If you do enjoy this content at any point, please feel to like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely amazing. If you do choose to do that, I'd also like to say thank you at this point. It certainly means a great deal to my channel and it also helps me to understand what sort of content people like to view. But for now, let's turn the camera around, take a closer look on how we can update this watch very simply. Okay, so here we have the GAB 2100. Now, I, I will leave a link for this in, the, in up here so that you can you can watch the content for this. Um, this will work with the GA 2100 and the GAB 2100 as they're esen essentially they're the same watch. Um, it's just changes inside the the, the case that has been made. Um, so it, it will work with both of them, but whenever you're changing the lugs on these or you're, you're looking for lug adapters on these, always make sure that you check on, on, the, on the actual model itself, mainly because some are just slightly different in the way that they're designed on the inside. Now, I've just left this off screen, off camera for a bit, mainly because as soon as I bring this in, you'll see that everything else goes dark. Um, but this is from J's and K's. Um, I've used them quite a bit in the past. They're a company that really do specialize in making lug adapters and different types of straps, um, things like that for, for, for watches. They, and they make really, really high quality ones. So as soon as I got this and knew that I was gonna make some changes to it, the first company that came to mind was J's and K's. So inside that little um, one over there, just put that down, um, you, what you get is you get um, a nice little sticker, which I'll be putting somewhere, and you get the two lug adapters, uh, which are inside uh, this little box. And they're, they're good enough to be able to send you one of these little lug tools as well, which you can use. Um, it certainly makes it easier to be able to get the straps on and off. I think we keep going out of focus there, so I do apologize about that. Let's see if I can get it on my hand. Um, this one pushes through any of the bars if there are small holes, and then this one can be used um, if you need to be able to then open, open the bars. So I'm just gonna leave those little protectors off um, Casio have also made this a lot easier to be able to do as well so they've started to introduce a lot of their new watches that have these quick release straps uh, quick release lug pins so rather than you having to ferret down the side um, they're a lot easier to get off now this is the main reason that you need one of these adapters and that's because from the outside with this pin and that pin there they're actually cosmetic um, they, they just hold this this case on um, they're not for the, the lugs to the watch so this width here isn't actually as, as wide as the, as the lugs are. The lugs on the inside here are just these 16 millimeter lugs. So to get them off you can use this 
bit in here you push it in give it a wiggle and then you'll see that the strap comes off very 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 easily so I'm going to do this on the opposite side apologies if this is going in and out of focus I'm just trying to be able to do this um, through the camera um, as well as being able to, to, to view it through here while, whilst I'm doing it so there you have um, the head unit um, hopefully if you can see in there so I've been able to take these off so I'm just going to place that down I'm going to place it down on top of the cardboard there so I'm certainly not going to have any issues about scratching or anything and then on the inside here we have the lug adapters now J's and K's, as I mentioned, you know, they've, I've, I've just always been very impressed with the, uh, with the quality of, of theirs. So on here, you can see that it is a J's and K's, and it's also a 22 millimeter adapter. I've got a quite a loud uh, bird in the tree there, so sorry about that. And then if you'll be able to see, you have a top and a bottom. So to get these on, you just need two. Now the resin that's used on this is a hard resin, whereas the re this this is a this is a, a nice malleable plastic, so it takes a little bit of finessing to get it on there. Now I say that this genuinely is the first time that I've done this. Um, I've not pre-tried this, um, and that was very very simple. Same again here, so. You'll see, if you can see, so the lug here has an open side so that you can get the quick release bar into that. You then take this, push that in on the opposite side to where the spring is. And then we just push that in, give it a bit of a wiggle and you'll hear that it, that it pops into place. Now you can do one of two things with this. Um, you can wear this with a... Um, with a single piece um, NATO band, you can certainly do that. What I've done is, and it's a company that I've always wanted to check out what their straps are like. So again, this is the first time, I've, and I've specifically not opened these. Th these arrived yesterday, so I thought I'd do a, 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 almost a, a semi-unboxing. So Archer, are, 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 they make uh, straps, they make really high quality straps. Um, which uh, you know as i say you know this is the first time that i'm looking at them and i can definitely say so this is a a two-piece nato uh, nylon style strap which actually is really nice uh feels nice and tough and it also comes with the uh, quick uh, quick release bars already in there so i might be able to i'll actually take them out of this one so that one was the was a was, was a nylon strap whereas this one is a rubber strap all right okay so they both come so they come with two uh strap keepers uh, uh with with part of them and then on the underside here you can see it says 22 millimeters and then this is it says archer watch strap so what i might do is let's take let's take that one. Oh, let's take this bar out so there's one of them and let's take this bar out Oops, wrong side. I don't think it really matters which side. I don't know why I said that. And let's take that one out. So what we should be able to do is just pop these in. So I can put that one. Oh, that is the wrong side on that one. Well done. Push it in. Now when you're putting these in, it's actually easy just to, to do it with your fingernail. It's just getting it in the right point. That's really nice. I like that. Actually, I'm really impressed with this. Not that, I mean, I shouldn't not have been impressed, but I think for my first try of one of these Archer straps, very, very easy, very simple to add. And I think compared to the old strap that was on there, let's, I think that looks a lot better. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll add some video of me, uh, of, of this on my wrist. Just realized, yeah, I've, I've I've put that, have I put that on the wrong way around? Yes, I have put that on the wrong way around. So that's just the normal rubber strap. And then if, you, if I wanted to replace it with the nylon strap, because we have these quick release bars on here, 
It really is as simple as this. Now, one of the beauties of this this mod, and I'm really, it's a bit of a joke me calling it a mod, because it really is just as simple as as changing changing straps on on a watch. Um, but it's certainly not going to affect anything really on here so if you did need to return this to the manufacturer or, or anything like that it doesn't void any warranties or anything just to replace a strap you know it's, it's a very simple um, and very effective way in which you can you can update that so there we have it with with the nylon strap again I think that looks really good as well I'm kind of going to be spoiled for choice on which one I think I'm going to leave it on with this one for now so I can get used to it and then maybe maybe mix those out but as I say, super simple. The lug adapters were from J's and K's, which are, there's the little sticker there. And for my first attempt looking at these archer straps, I'm, I'm really impressed with these archer straps. I'll leave some links in the description for these. Um, as I say, they're a US company and they make lots of different style straps that you can change pretty much and, and, and mix up any of your watches um, often i'm asked for a watch check today i'm wearing my garmin instinct had this away whilst while i was away on holiday turkey is very sunny certainly haven't had uh, to worry whatsoever about charging this um, but from today i will be back wearing my gab 2100 now, as I've said many times, there is absolutely no doubt that the Cassioke is a handsome watch, and it really is, but the strap has always kind of let me down. It just feels like it was a last minute, oh, fellas, we're gonna have to put a strap on this. Let's pull out one from the strap closet that's just a bit naff. So with minimal effort, minimal real skill there's there's very little skill involved in being able to change one of these straps i've been able to take a, a watch that i was 95 percent happy with and update it to a watch that i'm 99.9 percent .9 happy with that extra 0.1 percent really is trying to work out which of the two straps i want to keep on um, but with it being ridiculously easy to be able to change and swap these around my options are kind of endless as well you know these straps are not particularly expensive i think here in the uk i think they're about 12 to 13 pounds per strap um they also have options or archer have options so at the moment this has a stainless steel um buckle on there you can pick up additional buckles if you really want to kind of go on and and you know mix and match them I think the buckles again don't quote me on this I'll, I'll double check this I think the buckles are about five or six pounds but again you know I can I can certainly check that and I'll, I'll leave it down here I want to say a huge shout out to Jason and K's they've not sent any of this to me or, or no I bought it and they sent it to me but you know I've not had this for free or anything like that um, I've used them a lot in the past and I just want to give them a shout out mainly because They've never let me down as far as watches and adapters and all of that sort of stuff is concerned. So I'll leave a link to them. I'll leave a link to the straps as well in uh, in the description below and all of that kind of jazz. Get, get updating. I used to be the kind of guy that didn't like to change things on my watch. I liked them to come vanilla and I tried to keep them as vanilla as possible. But, you know, I quite like my mint chocolate chip. That was a terrible analogy. So... I'll leave it for there for now. I hope you're all good. And as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. Shoot, hi. Breathing in, think again. Chicken! You know, these have been very, very difficult to get online. And recently they did They're the poorly eye. Come here. Whoa, say hello. World, Norman, Norman, world. Oh, you stinky snit. Go on. You find your brother. No. Yes, yes, he's not here. You can have plenty of love. Oh, and here's the other one. Hiya, stinky. Go on then. Yeah, good boys. 
getting dirty. Yeah. Stinky snat. Oh. Shoot. Hi. I'm the mole in the weird breeding thing again. 